Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gwen. I'm a nurse based in the UK and today's video I will be sharing to you how did I process my application from being a Dubai nurse to becoming a UK nurse. Basically, it all started 2019 wherein it's my fourth year working in a company there in Dubai and uh, my contract was ending soon I applied in a different hospital but I was not lucky enough to find one and during the time UK was booming and I tried to apply so first thing I did was research on how to apply you will need to take three tests English test, CBT, and OSCE. English test and then CBT, you can do it wherever you are. And the OSCE, it should be done here in the UK. So first thing I did is to do the English test. There are two tests you can choose from, which is the IELTS Academic or the OAT. So I choose OAT because it is focused on healthcare professionals. I took the exam August 2019, waited for a result after three weeks, then I got the result and got the score needed. After that, I opened an account in the NNC site. I will put the link in the description down below so if you are interested in applying everything all the details will be down in the NMC UK website after opening an account in the NMC website you'll be needing to upload all the necessary documents and from that time on every communication through you and NMC will be through email so one advice is you should be active in checking your emails so the documents needed to be uploaded I will write down in the description down below what are all the documents needed to be uploaded once you've successfully uploaded all the documents you can now book in the exam for the CBT you can take the CBT exam in any person view so after passing the CBT, what I did was I sent my resume to different site. I just googled it. My advice to you is to send your C resume to any all openings that you can see in Google or send your resume to an agency. Then you'll be booked to different kind of interviews. I had a I had quite some interviews through Skype, through Zoom, and also face-to-face. -face. Uh, so each hospital they do the they do interviews in their in different ways. And also, why am I advising you to send your resume to different uh, companies? Because um, each trust is different. Some trust offer like they will refund everything some trust they will not cover your visa some trust they will not cover your ticket going here in the UK so it's better if you will have more options then you can choose which one is better I choose my reason trust because it gave me the best offer uh, it covered everything refunded all the, the tests that I've paid for like the English tests and the CBT they've uh, refunded all of it and then they've also given me a, re a relocation package so mind you guys so it's better if you will spread your resume then you will know which one is offering who will be giving you a better offer and the next exam would be the OSCE wherein it will be done here in the UK that's why I I search for a company bef 
because you cannot sponsor yourself from the country you are in going in the UK. You need to have an employer wherein they will help you process your visa and they will sponsor you coming here in the UK. So when I was in Dubai, as I said to you guys, I was finishing my contract and then after I finished my contract, there's only a month for, for me to stay in Dubai. And then after that, I will have to buy my own visa. And during that time, I haven't processed yet my UK visa application. So I needed to rush it because if I'm on tourist visa, my applic all the application, all the COS, COS applied by my current trust will be forfeited and I have to go back to the Philippines and start the whole application again so yeah after that af after having your employer you'll be in sponsored you'll be coming here in the UK so what happened to me I started working already but uh, while working uh, my hospital also supported my training to get through the OSCE part 2 exam and after passing the OSCE exam there you go you will get your NMC pin NMC pin this means that you are fully reg registered here in the UK and you are now a UK nurse so guys hopefully this video has been informative and if you want more details on how I did my application just comment down below message me this is just a brief through on how I did my application so I started my application August 2019 and I arrived here in the UK uh, January 31st 2020 so it was quite quick and now I'm enjoying my stay as a fully registered nurse. If you have a more detailed question about how I did it, just comment down below, message me. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to click the subscribe button so I can see you in the next video.